Now we'll talk about one of the basic concepts of, of internal martial arts as far as, uh, as one of the core movements and also very much a big part of Ba Gua Zhang. Um, and that is the concept of, of a hand form called rise, drill, overturn, and fall, or rise, drill, fall, and overturn, as most people say. And in Chinese, it's shang, juan, xia, fan, little rhyme there. So shang means to rise, juan, or juan means to drill, and xia means to fall, and fan means to overturn, turn over, okay? So this rise, drill, fall, and overturn movement uh, you see over and over in, in Tai Chi Chuan, uh, in Xin Yi Chuan, uh, in Ba Gua Zhang. Uh, a lot of different martial arts, even, even Shaolin Chuan, will, uh, will, you'll see these sort of movements. Um, so really all it is is the hand coming up, and as it comes up, it drills or turns in, in this case, as it rises, and then as it falls, it turns back over and comes down. So it's coming in some kind of a circular fashion like this, of which it repeats, often like this. And you can see it on a, on a axis like this and also on a horizontal axis like this too. In Bagua, you see it coming under here with the rise, okay, and the drill coming through here, and the fall and overturn as it comes over on this side. It's a little more of a horizontal wheel here, slightly vertical, but you see that constantly in, uh, in Pa Gua Zhang. Okay? So there are lots of different routines here. Uh, Xing Yi has one where, where they come from, from inside and comes out like this. Um, sort of thing. It does the same routine um, in several of the Xing Yi forms. And once again, in Bagua, it's, it's very important, too. So I'm going to call up a partner here in a moment, and we're going to go over some of the uses of this, where the rise is a penetration movement. The drilling is pushing something offline and penetrating through. The overturn is gaining superior position. And then the, the fall and overturn is, can be a, a grab or a push away. So as Scott moves in here, okay, uh, he's going to offer me his, his hand. We'll, we'll use this side to start with. So as a hand comes into you or, or any part of the body here, uh, you rise to intercept it. You drill to push it offline in that fashion. And if we sort of turn this way, you can see a little better how you can actually, the drill can actually push it away like this as you penetrate either inward, upward, or however you're going to be doing in that. And then the fall comes in to gain a superior position, and then the overturn can bring your hand down in a position to grab, push, hit, or whatever, whatever it may be. You may be coming in and ending with a grab. This. You may be coming in and just gaining superior position on top of the arm. Uh, you may be coming in to actually hit like that as you, as you come down. So there are several ways to do it. Um, obviously, you can use both hands coming up and coming in like this, um, like that. You can go from the inside here, rise, drill, overturn, fall bringing him in this way, okay? The other hand can come in, same thing. You can rise from this side, rise from this side, okay? Um, from this side up, turning in here, getting position here. Um, you can rise from this side, turning in, getting position this way. Um, but very much um, a part of, of what Bagua is. If we're coming from this hand, from the other side, we'll be, we'll be maybe slipping in with a, a touch here, rising from underneath, coming in more of a horizontal movement, rise, drill, overturn, fall, which you see often in Bagua, and from the other side, rise, drill, overturn, fall, 
coming in this way. Okay? Like that. So, so those are, are either the vertical placement, like this, horizontal placement, like this, or like this. And you can do a routine with a partner where he just leaves his hand out here in practice. And uh, you can rise from here, overturn, rise here, overturn, here, here, this, and back and forth. You can, uh, can use two hands. We'll start here. You can step forward here like this, here. And then the other hand comes in. You can come over here, turn away. Other hand comes in here, turn away. He tries to intercept in the middle like this. Okay? If we turn this way a bit, you'll see that as he comes in here, turn away, here, here, here. And see how the last overturned fall, as he tries to come through that hole, becomes your parry. It slides past there. You come through, taking control of the elbow here, and then through like that. Okay? Okay, nice routine to do there. Okay, very good. Thank you, Scott. So those are some of the movements. There are lots of routines to do with this. Once again, this shows up constantly in Bagua. Okay, this rise, drill, overturn, fall on different, uh, different planes, vertical, horizontal axis. Um, it's, it's one of the integral parts of Bagua movement. It can be inside like this. Okay? It can be outside, as we've seen before. And it can even be going down and under with the same results. So that's shang, chuan, xia, fan. So rise, drill, fall, overturn. 